Hey guys, it's Miranda and today I'm going to be doing um, this Greek goddess inspired makeup tutorial. Um, if you can see, it's a very bronzy um, complexion with gold and a dark um, eyeshadows with um, sort of like a bronzy nude lip. Um, and after this video, I'm going to be doing, this is part one, I will be doing part two, which is, um, uh, an inspired hair tutorial. So if you guys, um, if, I think this look would be really great even for like the holidays or, you know, whatever you want to wear it for. So anyway, if you guys want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Alright, so let's get started by priming our eyes with, as always, the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I was baiting, um, using the Bare Study Paint Pot for this, but... I just, um, I just really love my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Okay, so we're going to prime the top as well as the bottom of our eye for this. To just carry some of the color. And I apologize for my fingernails, you guys. I need to repaint them. They're like chipping like crazy. Alright. Next we're going to, um, if you guys can see where the dark is on here, we're going to apply a dark base just in that area. And ideally I would be using the NYX, um, the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean, but I actually don't have that. So I'm using this one, which works pretty good. It's the Wet n Wild Idolize um, Cream Shadow Pencil, and it's in the color Graphite, which is just a really dark gray. And we're going to apply that almost in, um, like a, an, like a long triangle. I'll kind of show you guys. We're going to start in the outer corner and we're only going to do uh, go like halfway in and then come back at an angle like that. And it can be applied messily because we're going to rub it in. And this is just going to help uh, the colors we put on really pop, stand out, and um, really hold the color, intensify the color, and keep it from creasing. And then we're going to go in with the next Jumbo Pencil and Cottage Cheese, which is just like a shimmery white. We're going to um, draw in the inner corner, kind of make a V going into the bottom, and put that right underneath your eyebrow, and then rub it in a little bit. You uh, really don't have to rub in the inner eye unless you want. First uh, eyeshadow I'm going to go in with is Flu from MAC as always. Another really good color for this is if you have Urban Decay in um, Virgin, if you guys can see, they're like almost the exact same color. I just like the MAC a little bit better. So just apply that on your like inner corner, right there. And now with the other side of the shader brush we just used, we're going to go in with Half Baked from this Naked palette. Any sort of gold color you have will be great for this. And we're just going to apply that sort of on the middle part of our eye. Because when I think of Greek goddesses, I think of like golds, um, dark colors, and greens. I don't know about you guys. And um, like on their eyes, I feel like they always have like gold and like a dark smoky eye. And then I feel like they always have maybe sometimes like a dark green. Um, I decided not to do dark green with this one, but a dark green would be great if you wanted to use a dark green instead of the um, black I'm using here. But I always, always think of gold and white. Like if you think of their clothes, they almost always have like white poofy um like blouses and tops on this is the like closest thing I had to being white and poofy I do have a really good shirt that would have worked for this but it's in my summer clothes oh, but anyway you guys can see I kind of went a little bit over the dark um graphite that we put down and then it's pretty much in the middle all the way up there then we're going to go in with just like a sh normal shadow br brush and we're going to go in um to creep which is like a black with a little bit of shimmer in it um, if you guys have a matte black you want to use for this, feel free to do that as well. Any black you have will work. And we're just going to pat that in over where we did the graphite. We want to make sure we don't go above the crease because we are going to be blending it out up there. And we don't want this color to get too um, out of control. So just pat that in. Make sure you're kind of keeping, like you can do it a little bit sloppy, but um, make sure you're keeping this like triangle shape. Like that. And go in with a crease brush with nothing on it. And just sort of go back and forth and try to blend it out. And I go in and blend it. Even though this is ne not necessarily the crease, I go in and blend it. These colors um, blend pretty well, so you don't have to do a lot of blending. Alrighty. 
And then I'm going to go in with, because I want the line to be more defined, um, I'm going to go in with a liquid liner and I'm going to line the top of my eye. I'm not going to extend it out, I'm just going to stop at the end of my lash line. If you guys want to use pencil for this, go ahead and use pencil for this. I can hardly see what I'm doing. I just think the gold in this makes it look so pretty. What do you guys think? The um the color in our waterline, we're going to put some eyeshadow on the bottom of our lash line. So we're going to go in back in with floof. And I'm just using like a little smudge brush here. And I'm just going to put that on like the inner part right here. Just like a quarter of the way over. And then for the rest of the way, I'm going to go back in with the half-baked. And just line that underneath. The gold is so pretty underneath. You guys, um, if you guys have uh, Mythology by MAC, that would be a really pretty color to use. Our Amber Lights will be a really pretty color to use in place if you guys don't have the naked. Now for our waterline, we're going to use, um, we're just going to put a black liner on. I'm going to be using the MAC uh, Coal Powder Eye Pencil in Feline. This is a discontinued item, but you can use MAC Smolder or any sort of smooth um, black eyeliner that you have. I know I usually use the Urban Decay 24-7 liner, but I thought I'd use something different for you guys since I'm like obsessive with that one. And I'm not going all the way in just because, like I've said many times, my eyes get really close and if I go all the way to the inner corner. So I'm not going to do that. And you guys can tight line this if you want. And for those of you who don't know what tight lining is, it's where you go in like this and do... your top, um, like, eyelid inside of it. Another way to tight line is to close and just move it across like that. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. I don't usually do it up there unless, like, I'm really bored or something. Okay, so that's it for that. And now we're going to go in with mascara and apply that. When you're doing the mascara, kind of pull your mascara out to a diagonal. That's sort of going to um, give more of a dramatic effect pulling it towards the dark color we put on. So if you guys can see, I'm going to pull it out this way. Do you see how I'm pulling it that way? Can you guys see it there going that way? Yeah. This will actually help um, when you pull your eyelashes, you know, towards this way. It helps you look more like you have, like, like a, a cat eye effect without doing eyeliner or fake eyelashes or anything like that. If you guys did want to do um, fake eyelashes for this, you're more welcome to. I know a lot of colleges have, like, toga parties and stuff. This would be a really great, like, makeup look for that. If you guys are in college... Otherwise, I think this is really pretty just to wear like for the holidays or anything just because it has the golds and the darks in it and everything. Okay, so that's it for the eyes. Now we're going to go in with the rest of the face. I already have on my foundation and my concealer. Um, and when you think of Greek, you think of like a really pretty glowy appearance. So I'm going to go in with um, my NARS Laguna Bronzer which is right here. I've already hit pan. And I'm just going to be using my big fluffy brush for that. And to give myself more of a glow, because I'm a little pale, I'm going to do the three and an E. A three and an E. And if you guys want to use a shimmery, I'm going to put a little bit of this one on. I didn't know if this one was too dark. I bought a really cheap shimmery um, loose powder bronzer, and it's the CoverGirls True Blend in um, color number 435 Golden Sunrise show you guys that. And I was using this in the summer. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's really sparkly and I'm only using whatever's in the lid. Sometimes I put my stuff on the cheek first because I don't want like my cheek to look too like wah. 
holy moly I look tan I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera but I'm like tan like whoa okay so anytime you ever use bronzer you guys want to make sure you um, get your neck and like all the way down here your chest area because you know you don't want to be too toned because that would be tacky I haven't looked this tan in a while. Okay, and then to keep our glowy look going, I'm going to use um, a blush with pretty bronzer or with pretty sparkles and shimmers in it. And I'm going to be using the NARS Orgasm Blush. It's like a very peachy pink color with a lot of gold shimmers in it. And I'm going to be using the MAC 168 for that. And I'm just going to put that right on my cheekbone there. And I like to go in and almost make a check mark. I don't like to do the like the the smell like that just does not work for me. I don't know about you guys, but I do a check mark. I think it looks a lot more natural than like having a whole like line of blush. You know what I mean? Check mark, check, check. Yeah, try it out, you guys. You'll like it. Looks a lot more natural. Okay. And then every time I put blush on, I like to go back in with my powder brush and just sort of that. I'm going to contour a little bit really quick with my NARS Laguna with this um, same 168 brush. Okay. Now, I don't have all my brushes out here. I'm going to go in with my Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips in Vegas Strip, and I'm going to just be using the top section there. I'm just going to put my brush in it, and I'm just going to apply a little bit to this area up here to give it, do you guys see that really pretty, like, glowy look? You guys can put it down your nose if you want. I'm not going to. Okay, and then for lips, um, I want to use a very, like, nudie pink color. I don't want it to be too pink. I don't want it to be too red. So I'm going to be using Blankety by MAC, which is a really pretty, like, nudie pink with a little bit of brown in it. So you guys can see how nice that looks. Without being too... Wah. And then I'm going to be putting a little bit of MAC Underage, which is a really pale pink. I'm going to be putting that just in the middle. Just to give it more of like a pouty look. Yeah, that is it for my Greek Goddess uh, makeup tutorial. If you guys want to stay tuned, look for part two where I will be doing my Greek Goddess inspired hair tutorial. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.